I'm like, hey, what's up, hello? Since your pretty ass, soon as you came in the door, I just wanna chill, got a sack for us to roll. Married to the money, introduced her to my stove. Showed her how to whip, and now she remakes it for low. She my track queen, let her hit the band, though. We be counting up. What am I doing? Hey guys and welcome back to my channel today. Obviously, as you can tell in the title and probably by my thumbnail, I'm going to be doing this look for you guys. It is a full face drugstore look with smoky eyes. Please ignore very loud noises in the background because my brother is watching football and he might yell and scream. So yeah, this is a super dramatic bold smoky eye made from all drugstore products because I know that not everyone can afford expensive products particularly me I'm all about the expensive product and then it's like oh, where's all my money gone and I love trying drugstore products and I also love finding um, great dupes and you can save so much money and I'm all about saving them dollars while still looking fierce yes so if you haven't already subscribed and you would like to see more of this by clicking below and like this video if you like it and give it a thumbs up and comment and yeah i'm sorry if it's a bit of a long video but sometimes good things take a lot of time sorry i'm sorry so if you would like to see how i get to this look please keep watching um so obviously i have already um done my eyebrows but everything else is going to be fresh and of course i voice dries the um, I'm going to use this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Eye Roll-On. I normally put this on morning and night just underneath my eyes because I find that it can stop my eye bags from looking so baggy. Then I'm just going to put this Astralis Primer all over my face. Really, you can use any drugstore primer that you like. Once that has dried a little bit, I am going to put that Maybelline Instant Age Rewind on just on my eyes. I'm going to start off by just doing my eyes and then go ahead and do the rest of my fuss. Next, I'm going to set my eyes using the Rimmel Long Lasting Stay Matte Pressed Powder. 018 Creamy Beige. So I'm just going to set my eyes first because we don't want them to crease. Next I'm going to highlight under the brow bone using the Maybelline um, Big Eyes Aligner. You know that I use this all the time guys. I'm just going to really do it under the arch of my brow. And then once I've done those I'm going to go ahead and use this Reveal 2 palette. I'm just using the lightest shimmery shade mixed with the matte shade next to it just to blend out the highlight that I've just done. Because I don't have a super caramelly brown shade which I would normally use for my transition shade in a drugstore product, please help me find a drugstore product with my favourite caramelly transition brown shade. Please help. I am going to kind of just wing it and use this um, Coastal Sense bronzer and it is in the colour medium and only really lightly just because it is similar to the shade that I would like for my transition but obviously it's a bit shimmery and a bit um bronzed a bit more bronzed so I'm really only putting that in this uh, like to the center and then to the outer corner then I'm going to lightly bring it down but not really blend it in just so there's a bit more of a bronzed line Next I'm going to go right ahead and do um, the shadow which is pretty much the main part. So I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics Wild Child Palette. Seriously would recommend it. They're wet to dry eyeshadows and look at the pigments people. You get the most amazing different types of colours in these palettes as well. To make the colour quite strong I am going to first apply some white liner. Sort of not to the corner just because this corner section is just going to be really, really smoked out. The next Jumbo Eye Pencil Crayon, and it is in Yogurt, 611 Yogurt. I'm going to apply that over the top just because that is really the perfect shade. It's just not, like, it gives amazing colour. It's just not the right amount of fleck, like, shimmery flecks in it. So now that I have applied that, I am going to go ahead and use my Wild Child Palette. I am going to use the pinkest, probably a combination of this really pink and this really um, bit more peachy shade. And of course I am going to wet the brush. I'm just going to spray it with the NYX Dewy Finishing Spray. Like, look at how nice that looks. Because I have hooded eyes, I obviously don't 
put up too far or it'll just crease too much. I am going to add a bit more of a glitter and use this super glittery pink here. Like, so much just came off onto my brush. The Reveal 2 palette. I really love the Coastal Sense Reveal 2 palette. Like, there is a whole lot of glitter situation going on. And just really trying to blend it in so that it doesn't just look like a lot of pink glitter. And I'm also going to mix a few colours now that I'm going onto the super smoky part of the eye. I am going to get this sort of, um, sort of rounded but softy-ish um, and it's just the elf professional eye blending brush and this black shade I'm just gonna go in with the black first just to really make sure the placement is correct and then blend it out from there so I'm sort of in a rounded so you can see I've sort of rounded it out I'm just going to sort of create a triangle and then I'm going to blend it in so, as you can see, it's quite dramatic, really. Now onto liner. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Ice Studio New York, and it is in the Blackest Black Liquid Liner. It's kind of like the Bobbi Brown one that I use all the time. Just going to bring the line up towards the tail of the brow like that and bringing that all the way into the inner corner of the eye just because it's going to be super dramatic then of course I'm going to clean it up using like a cotton tip and I'm really just going to bring it across and sort of neaten up the line as well as neatening up the shadow the Essence Long Lasting in 01 Black Fever. I don't find the need to get like expensive eye pencils and it's a roll up one which is also I find roll ups are way more easy to use and less damaging on my eyes. So I'm going to put it along my lower lash line and then also on my waterline because this is like meant to be a super dramatic look. I normally wouldn't suggest so much black for hooded eyes but I really also want to show you that if you do have small or hooded eyes, you can really work the big black bold look. But I am going to blend it in and I'm going to smudge it out using the same black that I was using before from the Reveal 2 palette. And then this Sigma Short Shader brush. Really like not heaps of black because we're just trying to really smoke it out but blend in the rest of the liner that was there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some lashes on. I'm going to use these Cara 505 black lashes. So I'm just going to go ahead and put mascara on my upper and lower lash line. And I'm going to use the Revlon Bold Lacquer by Guru Lashes. And then I'm going to use these tweezers and really sort of squish my lashes, my real lashes and the falsies together. So I'm super white today, so holla for all those white girls out there, I'm feeling super, super white. The L'Oreal 24-hour infallible matte foundation. This is perfect because if you're wearing a smoky eye, generally you are going to be, you know, going out or going clubbing or something like that. And you kind of need to have sort of that matte foundation. But you do also want to have a glow. So I'm going to mix this together with my Face of Australian Mineral Therapy. If you watched any of my other videos before, you would know that I tend to like to do this a lot. The colour that I'm using in this is 24 Golden Beige. I feel like the lighting is really washing me out today. It's making me a little bit sad. Next I'm going to do a little bit of an under eye highlight using the Maybelline Superstay 24 Corrector and this colour is ivory. I think ivory is a bit too pink for me. It actually is a, quite a bit too pink for me if that makes sense. I'm a bit more of a yellow tone. I find that this is quite hard to blend to be honest. This Conceal like I like it, it conceals really well and it lasts a really long time. 
but it doesn't blend that well. For my under eye highlight and also to highlight the rest of my face, I am going to use the AC On Tour Stylus Highlighting Contouring Kit and this banana shade. It is amazing, you guys know that I use it all the time as a dupe Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm not sure, I'm sure there'll be other drugstore dupes if you can't get your hands on Astralis just because Astralis is an Australian product. Next I'm going to use the Face of Australia and it is the Translucent Loose Powder as you can see here. It's sort of a, it's, I find that it's a dupe for the Laura Mercier powder and I'm going to set under my eyes and also because I really want to set the face. You don't want to be going out partying all night and having your makeup crease like you want your makeup to last all night long just going to use it to contour as well and now it is time to bake people just leaving all that goodness all over my face while we wait to bake I'm going to do my lips and I am going to use it's pretty much an old favorite I know my favorite NYX NYX in my opinion has some of the best drugstore um, lip products ever including their soft matte lip cream and also this NYX and it's a matte lipstick it's whipped caviar and I'm also going to be using the NYX natural wipe not wipe dust off the um, you know you know what I'm trying to say here, people. I'm just going to use the Suntones bronzer today to bronze it up. I'm just going to use this to slightly contour as well. Blend that shit out. I am going to go ahead and use my favourite BH Cosmetics Bob Shop Bronze in Starlet. I can't live without this. If you don't have this, go and get it. So I'm just going to use this fan brush and I'm going to use it more as like sort of a highlighter and colour for my cheeks today. And here you have it. This is a finished look, obviously, because you would have seen it at the start of the video. I don't know why I always try and say that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that you want to come back for more and of course subscribe below, like this video if you like it and leave me comments in the section below if you'd like to see anything else because I love taking requests because they always make me feel nice and inspired. I'll see you guys very, 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 very soon. <laughs> Bye. So obviously, my bags, my bag, I don't know. Oh, why do I always go blurry? Sorry about my squicker chur. So thanks so much for watching, and I keep saying the same thing. Now, because I don't really have a like super caramelly brown shade in like a. So if you got to the end of the video and you're watching this, you're like, what the hell?